Fantastic Nation. Today we're going to be learning how to draw a strawberry. For this tutorial, you're going to need paper, something to draw with, and felt markers. Let's get started. We're going to begin by drawing the strawberry's leaves. We're going to draw curved lines up and back down and kind of a curved or rounded triangular shape. The top leaves are going to be quite large by comparison to the bottom leaves. So draw three to four leaves on the top and then three to five leaves that are a little bit smaller but in similar shape along the bottom. In the center of each leaf, draw a line We're now going to draw the strawberry's berry shape or body. Okay. Next, we're going to draw the mouth. The mouth is going to be somewhere near the center of the berry. So draw a straight line across, and then we're going to draw a U shape just underneath. Okay, so straight line and a U. And then from one side, about halfway up, curve around and down to create the tongue inside the mouth. And then from there, you can simply color the mouth black. Next, on either side of the mouth, very close to the mouth, so we want to shrink the face so it's narrow, but the eyes are spread apart. So somewhere around here, we're going to draw two eyes. We don't want them way up here. We actually want to squish them all because that increases the cuteness of the strawberry. So we're going to draw two circles very close to that mouth. Okay, so cute. In each of those eyes, we're going to draw two large circles and then two small circles. From there, we're going to gently color the remaining space of the eye, being careful not to get those little guys um, black. Wonderful. Next, we're going to draw the seeds. So we're doing just four rows of seeds. So a few rows down on an angle. And then we're going to skip the face. Um, you can add a couple on either side. Nothing in the center because we want to create a focal point on the face. So we're going to keep that clear. Otherwise, it'll become too busy. And then we're going to simply continue the rows from the top, just below. Just like that. Before we continue, we are actually going to thicken up some of the lines. So I'm going to switch over my marker to a thicker black felt marker. First, I'm going to thicken up some of the lines.
I'm also going to color the seeds with the black. Next we're going to color the strawberry with our red marker or if you don't have a marker just use whatever you have and you can go right over the seeds. I'm not going back and forth I just want to do one quick stroke over them. It'll start smudging a lot if I continue to scrub the paper or go back and forth over top of the seeds and we want to avoid that. I mean already this strawberry is looking awfully cute. Alright, so I'm going to experiment with a couple different uh, green crayons for the foliage. So I'm going to do light on half and dark on the other half. your tongue pink. And use just a light blue to kind of add just a hint of blue only around that large circle. So just around the perimeter. We don't want to color it the whole thing blue. We just want to add a cute little detail. I'm going to get my paint so you can choose to stop here if you just want the strawberry or if you want to experiment when you get some time you can use some watercolor paints or whatever you have. I'm going to first just add some water to hydrate my paints and then I'm going to add some different areas of some splats. I don't want to get too carried away, but I do want to get a little bit more creative. This is also going to help add texture in our background. Wow, that
that got really crazy really fast. And you got to be mindful of that because once those kinds of things happen, sometimes they're great, but you got to know that you got to let the material do what it's what it's going to do because there is going to be no erasing. I'm also going to add just a little bit of green. I'm not going to get super carried away, except for over here where it's already gone a little bit crazy, so I'll leave this to be my crazy spot so you can kind of see the difference. But here's the thing. We're going to finish it off by adding just a sprinkle of salt. So this is coarse salt, or um, actually this is kosher salt, but it's what I had. So find some salt that you have. I find it works better when you have coarse salt versus just fine. And just take a pinch and you're going to sprinkle it on the areas. So I actually added more water in these blobs because I wanted to add the salt from the start. So I'm going to sprinkle the salt on those areas. And already we can see that it's starting to dry. Now the cool thing is, is that when it does dry, we're going to get some neat little effects there and then once we it's all dry we'll come back we're going to rub off all the salt and we'll take a look at the cute little strawberry that we have all right artastic nation now that this is dry we're going to simply take a couple fingers and we're going to just rub that salt off so anywhere the salt has dried we simply remove it just by gently rubbing the paper Well, Artastic Nation, this cute strawberry is now done. For more art tutorials, please visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. If you're an art teacher, please check out um, my Teachers Pay Teachers store by simply searching Ms. Artastic on TPT. And please make sure that you subscribe to this art channel for more how-to-draw tutorials and other art ideas. Have a great day.